Criminals have been trying to escape prisons ever since their inception. In most cases, prison breaks fail, but this isn't always the case. Escapes don't only happen in the movies, as they actually happen much more often than you'd like to think in the real world. It's human nature to seek freedom, and it's going to be very clear the length some people will take to relish that sweet taste of fresh air. Luckily for us, most fail, but those very few truly committed criminals who are willing to risk it for the biscuit sometimes succeed spectacularly. Ready to meet the guys that escaped and lived to tell the tale? Let's get it on! Under the Radar Sometimes you just have to wing it. No pre-planning, thought process, or careful consideration. If you see an opening, you take it. Two inmates were on garage duty outside the high fences of the prison. All it took was a fleeting glance towards each other, a little nod, and they were off. They bolted out of the prison grounds as fast as they could, leaving the supervising guard staring after them in disbelief as he called in the escape on his radio. Once the coast was clear, the pair split up to go their separate ways, every man for himself. They were apprehended a few days later in a nearby barn and apartment complex. How these guys flew under the radar and convinced the guards to let them outside without restraints is anyone's guess. Over the Fence some criminals would move heaven and earth in order to be free from the prison walls. Others would just simply move part of the wall. These two inmates removed a couple of cinder blocks and squeezed through the openings before throwing a blanket over a 25-foot high razor wire fence and fleeing into the woods. The holes in the wall were covered by posters, and they even made dummies out of pillows and blankets in their beds to buy them valuable time. After all that work, they were caught when a local resident saw tracks in the mud at a nearby creek and alerted the authorities. If you're thinking of breaking out of jail, it'd probably probably be best if you didn't follow in the footsteps of these crooks. And threw a blanket over the razor wire before running across the roof to a temporary freedom. Think fast, act fast. When at first you don't succeed, try and try again. After a few failed attempts over the course of a day, this jailbird decided to bide his time and wait for his moment. When one presented itself, he had to think fast and act fast. As the police moved away from the patrol car to process his transfer, this guy saw an opening as the garage door was closing. He sprinted out of the tiny opening with the best display of speed limbo you've ever seen in your life. As the roller door closed behind him, it took the cops valuable minutes to get outside and by this stage, he was long gone. He covered so much ground that not even a two-hour sniffer dog search could find him. He was arrested the next day, and you could say his luck had run out. <laughs> Pun very much intended. Slow and controlled when you're not a criminal mastermind, you have to play to your strengths. Being a silver-tongued Casanova has its perks, especially if the guard making eyes at you just happens to be holding the keys to the only barrier between you and freedom. These guys calmly opened the gate and casually strolled out of the jail with no urgency at all, without a care in the world. There aren't many scenarios where a prison guard and an escaped con can live happily ever after. She's seen running her hands through her hair and looking totally stressed out, rethinking her life choices. The following day, she's arrested and the three guys on the run are apprehended five days later after a tense siege with police. Stick to what you're good at, guys. Breaking hearts, not breaking out of jail. A camera in the alley outside captured the men dressed in all white, casually walking away. Van hit and run. If something's too good to be true, it generally is. A group of prisoners were being escorted through the garage on their way back to their cells. One is seen lingering, and soon after walks behind a transport van out of sight, with the guards going ahead and not noticing he's missing. All that's left for him to do is open the door, turn the key that's so conveniently sitting in the ignition, and start the van. It's like the stars have aligned and the universe is almost begging him to take his chances for freedom. He floors the van, smashing through the garage door, and is free and clear. Or so he thought. He crashed into some trees nearby and was arrested. Most people steal a car and then get sent to jail, not the other way around. Handcuffs even dumb criminals get lucky breaks eventually. After being arrested at a motel for theft, this woman found her way into a police holding cell. She was left alone with her phone to try to arrange bail money in a life home. She struggles to break free of the cuffs, anchoring her to the wall in between checking text messages. Even though police say the cuffs were on its tightest setting, she was able to wriggle her dainty hands free. She took the keys off a hook on the wall and used them to open an emergency exit to quietly slip out the back door while no one was watching. She was busted an hour later when she returned to the same hotel where she was arrested that morning, instantly recognized by the staff who worked there. Bulldozer Attack 
Denmark is famous for Vikings and Lego bricks, but mass prison escapes? Not so much. 25 years ago, a TV film crew received an anonymous tip about a protest outside of a prison in Copenhagen and went there to document the event. What happened next was a bulldozer slamming into the brick wall of the jail and knocking it down, with prisoners running out of the hole like ants fleeing from their nest. They can be seen running down the street laughing and cheering, celebrating their newfound freedom. The film crew were arrested on suspicion of having prior knowledge of the escape and failing to notify police. 13 inmates escaped in total, some with lengthy jail terms for violent crimes and murder, with only three ever being caught. Detailed instructions prisons are designed to keep inmates in, not to give them easy ways to get out. After all, the key to success is executing a carefully detailed plan. Typically, you would think that installing air vents large enough for a man to squeeze through close to the floor would be a bad idea in a prison, but this was exactly how this trio gained access into the plumbing shafts behind the wall. They used ropes made out of bed sheets and had a getaway van waiting with fresh clothes and a bottle of Jack Daniels for a celebratory drink. It only took eight minutes for three inmates to complete their complex plan, ironically using a cell phone to film their escape from their cell. These guys traded 15 minutes of fame for an extra 15 years behind bars. Daring Escape they say that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. Arrested at school for fighting, this teenager was left alone in an interrogation room for only 10 seconds before he threw caution to the wind and fearlessly jumped out of a 16-foot high second-story window. He may just have rubber bones, as he got straight back up after surviving the fall and got out of there as fast as his legs could carry him. The cop comes to check on him 14 minutes later, and you can clearly hear him saying a few choice words when he realizes what's happened. The boy was found three hours later at his friend's house. We can safely say that when he turns 21, the only bars he will be attending will be made of iron. Through the window. The mind is a powerful thing. All you have to do is believe in yourself and commit. This inmate had a pretty simple plan. He was being processed in a detention center. One of his buddies would distract the guard while he made his getaway. When he saw an extremely small window, he thought, think thin, over and over in his head before taking a running leap, diving through the window. Once outside, he got into the getaway car his girlfriend was waiting in, and they were off like a modern day Bonnie and Clyde. 26 days later, they were discovered living in an abandoned house in the next state after after an anonymous tip-off. The warden said he's taking extra steps and putting locking mechanisms on the window, which should have been a no-brainer in a prison. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shout-outs we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too.